Oh, we're good. Alright guys, we're uh, pulling the trailers for the second time, the old Ford L80. Yeah. So they uh, got a problem with the lockup in the fourth gear. So uh, we're going to do that. Anyways, Tim's going to tell you about the car here. Because uh, he hasn't really done that yet. There's been a little bit of confusion over this car, or what exactly it is. Uh, so let me go over it real quick. This is a 4130 25-1 chassis car, full belly pan. It has, um, let's see, what does it have? It has stuff. Huh. <laughs> Anywho. It's got a Mustang 2 style front suspension on it, uh, heavily modified, to accept the uh, Pinto rack and steering and it's still got the, uh, the factory style brakes on them and stuff like that, so... Uh, besides that, we already talked a little bit about the, uh, the Vortec 350. Stock rod, stock crank, stock pistons. Uh, it does have bearings in it, king bearings, and uh, the block's been honed and everything's been gone through and all that. The, the rings are new, however, they're not gapped. Um, high, high flow, or high volume oil pump. Um, multi-layer steel head gaskets, ARP head studs. It has, uh, it says aluminum, or, uh, sorry. These are Brodix heads, IK200s. They're sold by Summit and rebranded, but they are indeed Brodix heads. They are 200 intake, 170 exhaust runner, or, I mean, what was it? 200cc 170. Anything. You, you technical people know what that is. Anyhow, the ignition system is a grid system. That's what I run my everything through. That does my timing. It does my launch, launch control stuff, two-step, all of that. Uh, also have the um, the wastegate MSD wastegate system. Our wastegate controllers through MSC, they also run through the power grid, so everything except for the fuel is ran through that power grid. Come with me. They're ready, well, I guess not everybody knows. These are 60 millimeter turbos off of a 96 power stroke. They are fit up, yeah, pretty well. No intercooler, water methanol injection on both sides to keep cool. A little water methanol tank here. Yeah, and because these turbos are mounted below the oil pan, I actually have to run a scavenge pump on them. Right here. So, if you're wondering why it smokes, it's because that scavenge pump isn't so great. Sure. Yeah, alright. Moving on. We're going to talk about the chassis. We've got a full funny car cage in here to keep me nice and safe. You know, and, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, a little CO2 bottle in there for the, uh, uh, for the waste gates. That's where my camera usually mounts right there. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's cool. put a part in. Yeah, I have several times. I apologize. The rear tubs. Here's the tub section. Uh, trans cooler in the back. Tubbed out. There's my favorite. Homemade wing. Broke that myself. Shoot, obviously. Under here we have a Moser M9 full floater, 40 splined, 9 inch rear end, wheelwood brakes, double adjustable coils, double adjustable belly pan car. Can you see that? Can everybody see this? This indeed. It's a belly pan car. 315 drag radials. It does decent as well, sometimes. It will tow the tire, by golly. <laughs> right, and this well, is why so. people mistake it as an opal. <laughs> the tail lights. Those are actually tail lights for a trailer. Yep. I think uh, originally when I built them, I wanted it to look like a Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like a 
Oh. Now we're working on pulling the trans for the second time. <laughs> Why are you pulling the trans? What do you mean? I always pull trans. I'm confused. The locked up button isn't working and the fourth gear's trash. That's right. <laughs> it's also, I don't know if you could tell, on the trans brake, when I start building like up to 10 pounds of boost, it starts moving just ever so slightly. It has a little creep to it. Maybe we can slide it back. What? <laughs> One, two, three. What's that hanging on? You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. Ow, fuck. Mm -hmm. Go. Hey. Fuck. Oh. What happened? You got the fucking man. Huh? You got the shit out of me. Yeah? You got to pick up on the back here. I'm trying to hold it where it's at. Hold on. Slide it down. Come on, I can't. There you go. Come on, somebody right there. All right, come up here to the other side. I got it right here. Come up and get on where she's at. Hang on. I got it. My wiring's messed up. Let it do that, let it do that. Let it do that. Let's do it. I'm still hungry, I need something for my hand. Jesus. Pull it out, pull it out. Shit. Alright. Hey, hang on, let me get the back end up. Hold You okay? Yeah. Watch that, hold on. Lift up on the back and I'll pull up. One, two, three. Alright, I got it. That's got on my pants. God damn it. Hold on. I got it. I don't think that's working. <laughs> huh? What? You don't think what's wrong? Is your catch man? Alright, well that was uh, pulling out the transmission out of this thing. I'm going to recap on the car. Yeah, I'm going to recap. And, uh, I'm going to take some time later to figure out exactly what's going on with it. Nothing too crazy. There's a little bit of, you know, discoloration, some trash in there. I don't see any metal shavings, just some friction material. Possibly left over from last time. Anyhow, we're going to go through it, check it up, make sure everything looks good. Check out fourth gear clutches and all that. Uh, check out the valleys and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yes, sir?